Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden and I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop series that we're going to be doing for the month of June and uh, we're going to be doing five minute Photoshop tips every single day in the month of June. So I hope that these are going to be very useful for you guys. Uh, these are going to be pretty quick tips and uh, some good tips and secrets for you guys. But if you are more interested in uh, more in-depth tutorials, I do have a Gumroad account uh, with lots of in-depth tutorials. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check these out. These are uh, hours long videos uh, and the PSD files are included. The stock images are included and uh, I think that you'll enjoy these as well if you're looking for more in-depth training. But for today, what we've got is something called atmospheric perspective. And this is something that's very important when you're going to composite images uh, into uh, the background. And so, for example, we have this image right here. This is a stock image uh, of a nice uh, landscape. And you see all of this fog kind of rolling into the mountains. And if you were to put an object into this background, for example, this AT-AT from the Star Wars movies, uh, you're going to have to make sure it matches that background. And so right now, the way it looks, it doesn't look very believable. It looks like it would just it was just stamped in there. And so what we want to do is we want to blend this object into the background uh, using atmospheric perspective. The first thing I did was I did a layer mask and then I just kind of masked out those trees, uh, first of all, to make it look like it's actually, actually in the background. And uh, so that's the first thing we want to do is mask it out. But what I really want to focus on for this tutorial is how to make the colors look a little bit more accurate. So what we want to do is if you notice the ATAT -AT has got a lot of contrast, a lot of blacks, a lot of bright uh, highlights here, uh, but the background does not. The background has got fog rolling in, there's not much contrast, and uh, there's not much saturation, and it's just a lot different of a look. And so we want to mimic that look. So the first thing I want to do is get my brush tool out, and I'm going to get uh, a dark green color that's going to replace uh, these uh, blacks in the ATAT. -AT. So I'm just going to get an eyedropper tool and just find some of these dark black colors right here. They're not really black though because there's a lot of atmosphere. So this is the color I've got when I just sample a dark color in the trees uh, that's about on the same plane as the AT-AT. -AT. And so that's the color we have. But what I want to do is I want to paint that color right over the machine. So just paint that directly over the machine and then clip it to it. Control Alt and G will clip. And then we want to change uh, that blend mode to lighten. So you can see what happens there. That dark green color has replaced everything that's darker than it. Uh, so it's lightened this image a lot, especially the dark blacks here. Uh, we probably want to tone it down just a little bit. That's probably too intense, but maybe about 70 to 80% I think would be okay. And already you can tell a big uh, change in contrast for the AT-18. -AT. Now let's go ahead and work on the lights. So I'm going to grab some of this fog color right here. So just grab some of the fog that's about where the AT-AT -AT is something like that. And then we're going to paint it directly over that layer and then control alt G to clip it. And then we're going to change that light color. We're going to change it to darken and you can see how it darkens those highlights at the very top. And uh, again, we're going to bring down the opacity just a little bit to make it look a little bit more believable. There we go. And the last thing I want to do, let's go ahead and get rid of that uh, layer of the AT-AT. -AT. I just want to take a big old rectangle selection here of the background, something like that. Control C and Control V. And now we have uh, that selection right there. Put that on top of your robot and then Control Alt G to clip it. And now it is on your um, actual robot layer, your AT-AT -AT layer. So you can see how it's actually on that layer. Now what you want to do with that background selected is just go ahead and change that opacity really low, maybe like 20% or so, and uh, I think that looks pretty good like that. So what we've done is we have, we've worked on our uh, darks, we've made our darks less dark by sampling a color that's already in the scene, just like that, and then we sampled a light color and we made that our lights on the AT-AT, the -AT, and then we just did an entire, um, um, selection of the uh, background and put it over top of the, uh, the machine as well with a low opacity. And sometimes if you do the opacity too high, it looks like it's invisible and you can always just do a blur uh, to fix that as well. So guys, that's pretty much it. Let's look at our before and after. Here's our before. 
uh, what we had, what we started with, and then here's our after. And you can tell how much more realistic that looks, just adding that atmosphere to the ATAT. And so just in a couple minutes, we're able to make a very real realistic composite, just matching these tones, matching this contrast, and also the color of the background. Guys, that's all I've got for today. I hope this was a helpful five minute tip in Photoshop. And uh, check back again tomorrow and we'll have a brand new Photoshop tip and secret for this series. Thanks guys, have a good one.